I know you clicked the video because you want to find out the early signs of pregnancy so you know if you are pregnant or not. Especially if you just had sex some weeks back and you're suspecting you've missed your period and you're worried did he pour on me, the condom get ruptured, am I really pregnant? Those things are going through your mind and you know you're not ready for a baby yet. And some of you, you are ready for the baby. You just want to get that good news that you are pregnant good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is miss mary popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you the early signs of pregnancy and also when to do that pregnancy test so you don't do it and say, oh, I'm not pregnant, Tango, whereas it's not the right time for you to do it. So I'm going to be sharing with you all this so you know the early signs of pregnancy. But before we go into the taste in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, if this is your first time crossing around this YouTube channel and these are the things you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not very very saying, thank you. This is not very very saying. Thank you. Let's go there. All right. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you the various early signs of pregnancy so that you know what to do if you should be jubilating or you should be thinking of what's next step to take. All right, so I'm going to be sharing with you the early signs. For those that have been pregnant before, when they go to their midwives, they go to their obstetrics and gynecologists, they usually calculate their gestational age from their last meses, from their last period. That is how the doctor and the midwife know, oh, this person is seven weeks pregnant, this seven person is 12 weeks pregnant, this person is 28 weeks pregnant pregnant so if we say we should start from there you might not get any sign so i'm going to be sharing the early sign you're going to be seeing when the fertilized egg is implanting or is trying to implant or has implanted that one week one week post fertilization what you're expected to see so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you so the first one i have to share with you is implantation bleeding Yes. For those that have been watching my video, I believe you've heard about implantation bleeding. Implantation bleeding is the first sign that I want to share with you. So implantation bleeding is quite different. It's very, very different. Not quite. It's extremely different from your normal period. Like for implantation bleeding, you might see some pink, like pink blood, like pink, something pink coming alongside with your normal discharge on your panties. It lasts for some days and it's gone. But your period normally fools your powder, but it's quite different. So people have more blood, so people have this picky, but not all women experience this implantation bleeding. And some also experience the implantation bleeding without them knowing that it's implantation bleeding. That's that. Then the second one I have to share with you is cramping, like cramping. Some do it feel it as if it's their meses that's coming. Like, oh, I'm feeling cramp. Is it my meses? I'm supposed to see my meses. This is my meses that's coming. They check there's no blood. That might be a sign that you are pregnant. I'm not saying you are. That might be a sign. Then the third one I have to share with you is missed period. Yes, this is a sign that most people are familiar with, missed period. Like, oh, I'm supposed to see my period on the 15th, but I've not seen it. It's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Ah, something is wrong somewhere. It is time to use the PT strip to confirm if you are pregnant or not. Missed period might be a sign that you are pregnant. Missed period might be a sign of different things. A lot of people have delayed period as a result of stress, as a result of hormonal imbalance. Things like that can cause missed period or delayed period. But missed period is also one of the early signs of pregnancy you should take note of. Then the other I have to share with you is nausea with or without vomiting. What do I mean by nausea? For those that don't know what nausea is, nausea is simply having a feeling of throwing up. I want to throw up, but I'm not throwing up. That's nausea. So at the early stage, you might be experiencing nausea with vomiting or nausea without vomiting. That's that. Then the other one I have to share with you is breast changes. Yes. So people experience breast changes during their ovulation, also when their meses are about knocking at the door. But breast changes, breast tenderness might also be an early sign of pregnancy. Then the other I have to share with you is frequent urination. This person is always going to the toilet to pee. This person is always going to the toilet to pass out urine. That might be an early sign of pregnancy. Why? Because the 
the womb, the uterus is between the bladder and the ut uh, and the um, the rectum. So the that um, womb now that's trying to expand the hair might be pressing on the bladder. That might make the woman to be going to the toilet regularly to pee, regularly to pee. So frequent micturition, frequent urination is a sign of is an early sign of pregnancy. Then headache. Oh yes, some women normally experience headache as a sign, early sign of pregnancy. We have fatigue, tired, always feeling tired, always feeling exhausted because there's a hormonal issue going hormones are changes a lot of things is changing that might be an early sign of pregnancy another sign i have to share with you is raised body temperature for those ladies that usually check their body temperature regularly they'll see oh i'm feeling hot am i sick am i having malaria seriously i've like i've seen a lot of pregnant women when i was in the maternal and child center during my community posting they come and they're like oh i have malaria i've been feeling hot i've been feeling headache i think it's malaria so when we do the malaria text malaria says okay malaria is just one plus the pregnancy test is showing two lines oh welcome to motherhood you are pregnant so malaria that malaria you are seeing that's making your temperature increase that's giving you headache might not be malaria but might be a sign might be an early sign of pregnancy then also some women experience mood swings this means they are happy the next minute they are sad this minute they are excited the next minute they are depressed so that might be a clue that oh could this woman be pregnant could this woman be experiencing early signs of pregnancy all right that's that then also food aversion some have food aversion because of the high sense of smell you see you just they just pass like any small like no matter how i like, explain now let me explain the food aversion first so that i don't die back so i don't food aversion is the sense that they start that they don't want to eat food irritates them so certain foods irritate them because of the smell they feel the food is smelly so they don't really want to eat they are hungry but because of the smell because of their high sense of smell they like mm -mm. there's also a woman i saw who said that i knew i was pregnant when uh my heart help sprayed a perfume and i smelled it i was like where did she get the perfume for from where did she get the perfume from did she change her pair or something there was a high sense of smell she can easily detect the slightest smell the slightest odor from your body she has detected it so that might be an early sign of pregnancy yes so these are the early signs i have to share with you why some they have food cravings they just want to eat a particular type of food at the very early stage of pregnancy some have food aversion food irritates them so it's a it's a two-way thing is that you're having food aversion or you're having food cravings so it's an early sign of pregnancy so for those that have been asking when should i do the pregnancy test like somebody asked i had sex two days ago can i do the pregnancy test today two days no you cannot even detect that you are pregnant it has to be at least the best time to do your pregnancy test is one week after your missed period like you waiting for your period um, on the 14th and it's not coming so the best time to even do it is like a week after your missed period at least the hormone human coronic gonadotropin will be high for you to detect in the urine so you can't do a pregnancy test like seven days after sex and expect to get a result no you might not get that result you are looking for there might not be too light but there might be too light in the future so after that sex just wait for 10 even 21 days it's advisable after sex 10 to 21 days to actually check to actually test if um the urine has hcg and if you are expecting a baby or not so seven days after sex no you might not detect it 10 days is better uh, 10 days is manageable but preferably 21 days after sex at least the hcg level will be high to detect there's a baby a baby is trying to form or not um i hope this video helped you answer it for those that don't know how to do the pregnancy test i actually made a video on how a live video on how to do a pregnancy test and also an ovulation test to know when you are ovulating so these are all i have to share with you how do i know i am pregnant and i hope this video is useful for definite diagnosis you do your pregnancy test trip you might be positive okay good and fine if you want it good and fine if you don't if you like if it came impromptu but to get a definite diagnosis to show that okay yes you are really pregnant the scan confirms it early pregnancy can scan can be done as early as eight weeks even less than i'm i think yeah eight weeks or less than it might be done that can detect oh a baby is there whoop or not so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video 
don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is me saying thank you bye and see you in our next video i love you